Hi guys, uh, I'm Adam out of Toronto, Canada here. Uh, I'm new to the Centroid CNC forums. Um, and I gotta say, there's been a lot of helpful information on here that's helped me get to this point. Um, and the point I'm at now is I'm trying to bump that motor. It's the uh, X-axis motor. I've only got the X, uh, X motor driver hooked into sort of high voltage power. You can see Y and Z are both disconnected from the 60 volt side of this toroidal transformer. Um, and, and I'm having issues uh, bumping that motor. These are HBS 860H motor drivers. As far as I know, they are knockoffs of the Leadshine HBS 86H drivers, um, for which I did find the documentation, uh, and it's attached to this post but I have no documentation for these actual um, drivers out of China. So, the issue I'm having, I think, essentially boils down to this. That's off the Acorn, this is on the driver, and I don't know how all to make the connections appropriately to have this thing bumping. I did watch Marty's video uh, on the wiring of the driver, the KL508H video, um, it, it you know it didn't really help me mostly because I'm not using a power supply that has five volts. I'm using a transformer, and um, sort of there's no low voltage power supply. So what I did is off of the 24 volt power supply that's powering the Acorn, there's also a five volt uh, DC power supply, and I've sort of put it into uh, Okay, I'm using a bad cable here, it looks like it's ground, but this is actually 5 volts, and it's going into pulse positive, it is jumpered into, sorry, direction positive, and I've left the enables um, uh, disconnected, because as far as I know, an open is uh, enabling that drive, I've got a green light on, so I, I don't think that's the issue. Um, and this is kind of the closest I've come to getting anything to move, and the reason I say that um, is because, sorry, before I continue, I should mention that uh, the the currently loaded axis motor drive is the bench test screw terminal. So that's kind of what I have running and uh, um, on onto the Acorn. And my drivers are not listed here, so that's a major question I have. Maybe it doesn't matter if I can make my own and customize parameters, but that's a source of confusion for me right now is how do I, you know, can I run this thing without it being listed here or how can I get it? Um, pretty new to all of this, so I'm not sure. Anyhow, we'll take you to the uh, Acorn screen and I've, I'll reset, okay, and then now here I've got the sort of enable LEDs all red, but as I start jogging the motors, they do, excuse the shakiness here, there, I just jogged the X, I'll now jog the Y, and I'll now jog the Z. And so those do turn green. When I when I reset here, um, I'll do it now, they do all go back to red. I clear the reset. And so the reason I say, you know, I'm getting close, or there's some signs of something, is when I jog um, in the positive X direction, and then back... Uh, and then I hit the negative X, I do hear and feel this thing bump and step. Let me get up close so hopefully you'll be able to hear it. And I will do exactly that. So I'm going X positive, and when I go X negative is when it usually makes the noise. I'll hit X negative now. So it, I think it, you won't be able to hear it, but... There it was again. There it was again. And so that little bump happens when I, um, when I go from positive X to negative X jogging. I get some kind of something in there. It is holding torque, you know, I can't turn it. So something is going on there. And the setup I have now is I've got positive five volts going into the um, pulse positive, jumper to direction positive. And then I've only got the S, I've only got ST1 and DR1 going into 
the driver. You know, you'll see here there is an enable cable leaving this, but I've got it disconnected at this point. So both enable plus minus are are out. Uh, you know, they're not connected. I've got five volts positive going DC going to pulse positive and direction positive, and these two are the leads coming up. So the negative of so pulse negative and DR negative are coming off the acorn and seem to be doing something, but not really. Any help would be appreciated, guys. Uh, if there's any more information I can get and have it included, I apologize, uh, and I'll do my best to include it at, uh, at your request.